hi everyone um i'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible like just really really quick um i actually was not thinking about making this video but i did get a couple dms on my um instagram and a few people sent me some messages on snapchat first and foremost i would like to say thank you to those that sent me a um you know um a message basically thanking me for the video that i have when i talked about the curly hair products and you know how my journey my experience thank you for that because um i feel that if you doesn't if you don't have a large following people will not take you serious or people will not listen to you because i have spoke about these products not being good um last year i don't remember exactly when and i got some very rude comments on the on my dm and then i got some other people actually coming out forward to me and telling me you know that i was the only one experiencing this or whatever or why not but just let me just get straight to the point because i have a few people asking me questions but i do not want to get deep into this conversation like i stated before i this is not something i plan on doing i just wanted to address everything that has been sent to me but um i was not and i am not surprised about that lady coming forward about the product it doesn't surprise me because i was already awoke i was already aware of these products and let me just say very clear diva curl is not the only brand um i will not stay here and name brands that are bad for your hair because again i am not going to stoop down to argue with anybody you know to state my facts i just let people be surprised and find out on their own because you can't argue with people um like i said um diva curl i was i did use in my curly hair journey but not as much as these other brands um so that's why i'm saying that diva curl is not the only brand that's destroying hair it's not i stopped the curly hair journey after my hair said you know what enough is enough um and i still don't go back on my word what i was what i say uh, actually if you guys want to see the video i actually have a video video a couple of videos back about my curly hair journey um in that video i was you could tell a little bit i was already i was already kind of pissed off and aggravated with my, not only with myself but because knowing me i i don't i don't i don't i don't i do not follow i always lead so meaning i went by all these influencers and all these people talking great about these products about the, and about the curly hair journey again this is my opinion if you don't like it then that's that's on you but i when i speak about something it's about my experience and i do my research deeply i don't do just a surface to the top of the bottom do we know i research whatever ingredients it has i research that, i research that ingredients and then whatever pops up i, I go deep into it so that's why i know a lot of these products the ingredients that they have even causes cancer it causes um your lungs to um fail as well so you can lose your eyesight and like i said again diva curl is not the only product it's not the only brand now the only product that um is bad for you and again i'm gonna keep it short because i refuse to argue anybody or waste my time on anybody that's still gonna be a sheep in other words so you have to be Wait, you have to be open-minded to these things. And it's plain and simple. If you don't want to do your research, at least listen to your body. Listen to your body because your body will... Your body knows you. Your body knows what it needs. And it will tell you 100% what's good for your body and what's not. Like, it will literally tell you. Mine was telling me I would just kept it normal because people kept saying, stay consistent, blah, 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 blah. Stay consistent and, you know, don't give up, whatever. I did all that. That did not work for me. Like, my hair is short right now. It's actually growing because I cut it all the way to my ear. Um, Last month, December 21st, I had a plant-based organic salon. Um, Because I had to cut everything off 
because this is how it was bad. Like my this curly hair and the products that I, the curly part the straight curly products that I was using that was claimed to be natural was destroying my scalp and my hair badly. Like badly. I'm the type. Those who know me, I'm the type, which I should because I need to back up what I say. But I do have like facts on every ingredient. If anybody ever need me, like I will actually argue with you. Like I will tell you exactly what. But I'm not gonna waste my time on that. But I'm 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 really bad with taking pictures. I'm really 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 bad. That's that's always been my entire life. I'm really bad with taking pictures. But I did take a picture of my hair before I chopped it all off last month. So you can see the the difference. And I will be posting. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple more months because my hair is actually getting very healthy. It's growing tremendously amazing. Like my hair is growing amazing right now. Believe it or not, I have no type of products in my hair. None. None whatsoever. Look how amazing and pretty my curls are. Like I have none. I have been washing my hair um with the 12 um brand. Um this is not store bought. You can't find this in stores. Um um the girl, the owner, I actually um went to um beauty school with her and she's actually a hair specialist and everything. She owns her own salon. And this is where she sells her products. She also have a website where she sells her product, but you cannot you would not find these in, in store. And these are plant based organic products. This is what I've been using on my hair since I chopped it off. Like right at her salon is she um the, the lady that cut my hair. Um these are the products that she used. And this is what I've been using, and I'm telling you right now, it, it it's been amazing. Like it literally been helping my hair like i see the difference i could before when i was in a curly hair journey when i used to touch my hair it felt so rough and a whole bunch of hair was i was losing a lot of hair like i was losing i was going bald basically like i and i still ignored it because but then again that's why can't nobody sit here and argue with me and tell me oh you wasn't because i was consistent the only thing i could say about the curly hair journey that i did like is i learned to stay away from the flat irons and the blow dryer that doesn't mean that if I don't want to, that doesn't mean that I will never do it again. Because if I want to blow dry my hair and straighten it, I'll do it. I'll do it and then I feel good to you about it because I know I take care of my hair afterwards. But I haven't gotten the urge really to um want my hair straight or blow dry. Like I really been rocking it curly or whatever. So, or in a pineapple, um, or in a pineapple style. But I've been using um these products. And again, these are naturally made at home she makes this work along with her husband her um salon is organic plant-based like it's it, it's amazing like it's really really and she's a hair specialist like i would try to um leave her information down below like and her um salon is based on it's the location is on oxford and cast i believe or oxford it's close to some it's really close to my house probably like five minutes to my house but um yeah, she does everything um, plant-based or organic. This is what I love. And I also purchased their, um, as you can see, I need another new bottle. Their, um, it's, it says oil, edge oil, but it's really for your scalp. Like, it, and it's so, so, so amazing. It smells amazing. It smells like, like peppermint. Like, like, it smells really, like, really good. And I usually do my deep conditioners with this as well. I don't use no outside product. Like, I try to... I try my very best to do everything organically or plant-based. Now, let me say this. Let me say this because um, a couple people had told me, oh, plant-based is bad as well. Everything, everything in this world is bad for you. Everything. That's why I say limit the amount that you use. Now, if you know something um, is really, really bad for you and you still use it, then don't be surprised by what's going by whatever happened to you or or if something appears in your body or whatever or something shuts down on your body don't don't act surprised because you know common sense but um plan based nothing in this world is, is really really healthy for you but plan based is way more healthier than you know your local whatever market or whatever it's it's more healthier and you making it yourself is actually 100% not 100% but it's an extra even better for your your body and your self so and it's not only in the hair, it's also in your skin and, and, and in your weight and all that stuff. So like I said like I stated before, just listen to your body because the reason why I say plant based and, and organic is not a hundred like it's not hundred a hundred hundred percent like 
the best thing ever. But I mean, if I if 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 we're gonna be honest, is way better than like I said, man made stuff. Way better. It's way better and way healthier. But my thing is that because the reason why I say people say that plant based is bad or organic is not that bad, it's not it's also bad. It's because a lot of times, even if we grow our stuff ourselves, which I do, I grow my own um like spices and stuff. Um, I try a lot because but this weather is like but um even the soil is contaminated, if you understand what I'm saying. Like so that's why I say like even when like if you gotta go buy something in the store or you you grow something yourself, the water from the from the sink is also contaminated. So that's why I say it's not a hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent safe because no matter what you can't we can't we can't escape from that. Unless you wanna live in a cave, we can't escape from that. So that's why I say limit. I said in my, my last video on my um curly hair journey, limit the usage of man made products, please. And I say this because a lot of times man made products they throw in ingredients that they do not mention in the bottle. Or they throw in ingredients that people are not awake and know about what exactly is that specific ingredient that's inside that bottle you understand what i'm saying so a lot of times people think people will own i seen this i see this a lot people will go and look for one specific um ingredient in a bottle oh it has that okay let's go but what about the other millions of ingredients that's in there like yeah i understand that uh, no paraben no sulfate none of that you know stuff but what about everything else like you know, like you still got to, you still got to, you still need to know, you need to be aware of the other millions of ingredients that are in there. It's not just about one product, two products, or nothing like that. But, um, my point of this video is, no, I am not going to write a statement. Um, because I know, um, like two or three people asked me if I was going to make a statement, um, about my journey. What happened to me? No, I'm not going to write a statement. I'm not going to write a statement. I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to say nothing because, like I said, I wasn't surprised and I'm not surprised because I already knew. I already knew. And, like I said, Diva Curl is not the only brand. And I and I still stick by it and I say it. I do not recommend the curly hair journey. I don't recommend the curly hair products. I don't recommend it at all. Now, this is my opinion. And along with those that stand by me, next to me, that, you know, um... But if you want to go ahead and try it, that's on you because then you'll be able to speak on it. But I'm going to tell you right now, the moment you start seeing your hair different, listen listen to your hair first of all. The moment you start seeing your, your hair different, stop. Because that's the mistake I did. I did not stop. I kept going and I dragged it for a year. Almost two, literally it was almost two years. When I, I dragged it almost two years and i I'm, i felt really bad like i was so disappointed with myself within myself because i usually don't follow what everybody else is doing i just said i wasn't i wasn't aware i wasn't like really knowledge of these curly what the curly hair journey really was about um so i decided to do it but really really it's not in the products that does the job it's not in the product i don't know how much i can express this it's really not in the products that's doing your curls justice it's not just stop using the flat iron any type of heat stop using that and eat like um, feed your body like vegetables vegetables whatever listen to your body and watch how your curls will, de will be very defined and you will get your curls back just stay away from the heat without using the curly without using any curly hair products it's not the products that's making your hair curly or, or, or vibrant or whatever it's not I, i'm it's not and I say I know a lot of people don't listen because I don't have a large uh, platform. My account does not have a large number of followers or supporters. I like calling them supporters. I don't call, I like I don't like calling it followers. Um, people will not listen to you, but somebody with a higher follower, they'll like you know, then they'll start listening. Oh, okay. So my I just like being I just like being um like in the back chill humble like i just like being in the back i don't like being in the midst of what everybody else is doing so but my thing is that <clears throat> i just really want to say that i appreciate those that um extended their gratitude to me 
after these after all this had came up into the light finally um when that lady came out because i know i seen a few other people had actually you know got the courage to come out and speak about their journey as well and again like i said i was not surprised about it and i'm not i'm just saying here where are where are the brands where, where's somebody gonna come up with the other brands because um the diva crew is not the only brand it's not if i could give any anyone an advice that would actually listen and take it um it would be to stop the diva cur stop the um diva curl stop the curly hair journey don't i don't i don't recommend it but if you still want to please make sure you look at the ingredients you look, try to go as plant-based and as organic as possible as possible please try that or just try or just try to come up with your own thing like try to create your own thing like whatever works for you for your body a lot of time people ignore what the signs of your body people ignore um won't listen to the body like your body is actually trying to tell you something you don't listen so people ignore it and they just go and try to throw something else on that's another thing you you're, you're mixing different types of um brands different types of products is it that's that's bad it's also bad for you but again listen this is my opinion this is me this is and when i tell you i exhausted my research i and when i beyond that i trust me when i say i done so much research on all these products that i'm this it's disgusting the things that i um that i have seen it's like when i was telling people um acrylic nail is bad for you but nobody wanted to listen to me nobody it's disgusting like i haven't done my nails in since 2012 no acrylic nails whatsoever like and my nails are very healthy yeah they grow long but they break because like they get stuck in places so they actually break so i gotta be following them down but my nails i have not touched any acrylic in years and years and years 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 even for my wedding i didn't do my acrylic i just um did a manicure and I painted my nails. That's it. But um, I hope, like, I hope by this lady and these, well, these other ladies coming out and be more alert and get rid of a lot of things that you don't need and check what you have in, in your house there that there are full of harsh hitting chemicals. Like, do your research. Don't be lazy. Like, do your research and because again, this is your body. This is your health. This is your life that you're talking about. And like I said, a lot of these products causes cancer, um, uh, lungs to, to fail, it causes blindness, it causes a lot of things. A lot of these, and a lot of these curly hair products have that, have those ingredients that causes that, but people won't know because people, a lot of people don't really understand what are those ingredients in there. And a lot of these natural products are not really natural, they just throw the word in there just to... Just to get to get people's attention, you know, you can't walk around with that. I don't care attitude um, when it involves your life and your your health. So, like I said again, we're not we're not safe at all in this world. But we we need to try to limit this usage of certain products and things and the things we do to a certain extent because so we can live a longer, healthier life. And like I said, I I. I threw away all my um curly hair products. Like I tried it and almost two years was long enough for me to see amazing results. And like I said, that was one of the worst mistakes of my entire life. One of the worst decisions I ever made in my life. Like like I said, with all the respect to everybody that, you know, that still believe in that, that still wants to do that, that still do it. Like this is no no disrespect to y'all. This this is just my opinion. And I only did this video for those that DM me. Like I say, I saw I saw the, the, the video that lady came out. And I saw the other, the whole bunch of other that was talking about the Diva Curl problem, hair loss, and all that stuff. I saw the, all those. But like I said, I was not, not one bit surprised. And I was not, and my intentions is not to address it because I already, I already um, had... Stated my opinion for this curly hair journey thing. And like I said, look at my hair right now. No product. There's no, absolutely no product. Just these two that I used today to wash my hair. And that's it. I left, I put the, I used this as um, a deconditioner. And I left it on the pipe for like about an hour and rinsed it off. 
um and then i use this on my edges and um between i put it between my like in my entire scalp and then i use my um this right here and i my, this is my husband but he don't use it so i i started using it to um massage my scalp when i don't feel like using my fingers and i get tired so i use this to massage my scalp so that's about it i have no gel no oil no um i mean no no gel no oil no no mousse no nothing like no nothing like really nothing i don't have nothing and i'm telling you look at my hair like my curls are still i can't and my hair is really growing like it's 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 growing so beautiful now like i can see the difference like i'm trying to tell you like i can see the difference like i can feel the difference like and I'm, I gotta get ready to um, do another trim, uh, probably the end of this month or the, on the end of this month or next or the beginning of next month. I'm not too sure yet. Or when I cut it last month, it was like up to here. I couldn't even do a ponytail. Like I couldn't even do the pineapple stuff. That's how sure it was. But um, I hope this answers any questions. I hope I ask those that ask me questions. I hope this was very helpful to y'all. And again, please, because I did have to block a few um, curly heads, don't come for me. Do not come for me because, especially about things like this, because I take things like this very serious. So, like I stated before, I'm wide awake. So, if somebody sit there and try to argue with me, like, I really, it really, it really, it really, like, boggles my mind or whatever however you want to say, like, how small-minded people really are. So, um... This is just for me. This is just I, I'm just making this quick video because of, of for those that reached out to me. Um, it wasn't a lot of people. It was uh, um, a handful of people that. But I wanted to instead of you know writing to y'all separately, I just wanted to get this video for anyone anybody else that has not said anything and probably wanted to hear something like what I'm saying right now. Um, like when I did my my curly hair experience. Um, a lot of people thank me. A few people thank me for that because they thought there was a law on that. And I'm not. One thing about me, I don't care if I get free products from a company. I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm not going to sit here. And I'm going to use it for about at least a week or two. At least two weeks maximum before I give you my honest opinion. Because um, at the beginning of the curly hair, like literally the beginning, beginning, like the, probably the first couple of days, I saw good results. I saw really nice results or whatever. Um, I can't go by that because I really cannot go by that because it might be good the first time you use it, it might look good and you might think oh this is a great product I recommend no I can't I have to use it for at least a good two weeks straight for me to actually tell you and and, and listen to my hair or my body and tell you um exactly how I feel about it so I would not lie just to get free a product and if I'm getting paid for it, I'm still not going to lie because I don't want to sit there and, rec and recommend a product that I wouldn't use on myself or, not, or I wouldn't use on one of my child, my children. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it 100 with you and I'm going to tell you, no, it's not good. Or yes, it's good. Or no, I don't know yet because I haven't used it long enough. Like Stuff like that. But um, I'm going to let you guys go um, again. Thank you. And I appreciate each and every one of you that supports me show me lots of love and encourage me um uplift me believe it or not like when i have my days and stuff i get i get beautiful dms like i have some pretty amazing i have met some pretty amazing queens in through my empire and i am extremely blessed for that because when i am down the people that i expect to check up on me don't but my supporters like they really really like send me little messages like how are you today and this and that like if i'm going through something like they're 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 encouraging and i really really appreciate that it's pretty dope um i'm going to if you guys have any questions or concerns um or comments just if youtube had actually been um disabling my comments that's not me disabling it's youtube especially when i have my child with me it automatically is for the for her safety it disables my comments so if you can't comment down below, then just um, send me a DM on um, Instagram and I will um, reply at my earliest convenience. And again, um, I hope this was helpful and um, this is just my opinion. Just I wanted to show you guys my hair anyway. I wanted to show you, see, so you guys could see for yourself that my hair has no product in it right now. None at all. Um, and what I washed it with and stuff. So it's really not, 
it's putting out the products that you use. It's just your self-care, self-love, and listening to your body is really 100% what works. So, until next time, next time, stay blessed, stay prayed up, stay humble, stay motivated, do a good deed, live your life to the fullest. Um, if you have a vision or a goal, do it now, get it done now, do it for the right time, because if you do, it will never come. Don't let your dreams and your goal die with you. Um, remember your greatest power is you. It's inside of you. So I will talk to you all on my next video. See you later.